Now, you see, it's the cause of the Middle East conflict, and, uh, and we've written to uh, people all over the world. Let me say here, or pause, or take the time to say to you that this school, the founder of it, uh, along with his other uh, constituents that worked with him, uh, wrote a book, and it was called God the Archetype Pattern of the Universe. You follow? Because, and he wrote in that name, God the Archetype Pattern of the Universe, because people were not used to these names. You see, Yahweh, Elohim, and Yahshua. You understand? But he did put a page in there with the Tetragrammaton in it, which revealed even in that book that those were not the correct names. You follow? You understand? So I'm saying we sent those books throughout the world, gave them away. You follow? That men would come to a true understanding. You follow? And we say that your doctrine is just as good as ours, or ours is just as good as yours. You see? But we possess, listen, the divine ability to prove that uh, the authenticity of whatever we're telling you. And as I'm, I'm going to repeat, the universe in its own total to, uh, confirms what we're talking about. Let me give you another example. We told you that Yahweh is the Father, the Word, the Holy Spirit, the Israel one. So when he takes on shape and form, he's got to take on the shape and the form. He's the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. And John said that in the beginning was the Word. The word was with Yahweh, and that's what this word was. You see that? It's not separate. It's the self-same thing. This is Yahweh without a shaping form. This is Yahweh in a shaping form. You see? You see but it's called by his title, Elohim. There. You see that now? Oh, you follow? Now, <laughs> and those three ones, then he manifested by the pattern of the tavern. I repeat it. By the pattern of the tavern, I just a most holy place a holy place in the court right about and come right on to the Genesis as I'm trying to show you. The light is divided from the darkness with the twilight in the midst. It's got to be for you all. When you get down to the man, I'm repeating again that the man is numerous, spice, and stone, or he's spirit, soul, and body. You follow? You understand that? Now, that, those are the things that are in a more gross uh, uh, materialization, meaning that uh, these are things that you can see with what we call 2020 vision or with the naked eye. But when you're going to alter microscopic particles of matter, such as the atom, you follow me? Then they are a proton and a neutron and an electron. You see what? And those three make up one atom. You see that? Now, in other words, this is something you can see, like it is made manifested here, and this, the atom would be like an unto something that you cannot see. You follow me? But nevertheless, whether it be visible or invisible, it's that threefold uh, pattern. You see what I mean? Because Elohim is the archetype pattern. In other words, the atoms come in by him. You follow me? As well as all things that are in the creation. Now you have 93 uh, uh, basic uh, um, elements of matter or atoms. You see what I mean? And one of them is twofold. You see? And, uh, and scientists would say, well, all, uh, there's a helium uh, uh, atom. It's not threefold. It's just twofold. And, and we can explain that in that Yahweh is the invisible. That's the part of the evening of Adam you can see. You follow me? You understand? Uh, that's the invisible presence, you see? And then you see the two uh, parts of the healing, which you could see. This is vision, uh, you understand? Regular, and you saw Yahshua. So those are the two uh, uh, visible you know, uh, counterparts of the invisible healing Adam. Do you see what I mean? So this re in principle or in reality, even the helium atom is threefold in its makeup. Why? Because it's coming in by Elohim, the archetype pattern of the universe. And without this, you understand? Even the helium atom was not created without him. See that? He's the, he's the first cause of all creation. And without him there wasn't nothing made that was made. You see? Now, we, like we said, we're presenting these things that you can uh, come to a profound understanding. Now, I was shown by Yahweh, unless you start off right, you see, you're going to end up wrong. If you start off with a Trinitarian concept, that's what you're going to have all the way through here. You follow me? All through your uh, uh, endeavors in life, you're going to think of him as, uh, as being a Trinity. But if you come back to the things that Yahweh revealed to Moses and the prophets, and you must remember that they received those things by way of vision and by revelation. Consequently, or therefore, we say, you see, that you have no business teaching nothing about Yahweh and a creator unless he reveals himself to you. You see? 
And because you will not wait on him to reveal himself, is how we got into all the mess that we're in nowadays. You see what I'm talking about? And I'm talking about uh, racial conflict. I'm talking about political conflict. You see? You see what I'm Any conflict that you have, it comes from a lack of understanding of how this Elohim, the archetype pattern, is manifested in every cosmographical structure in the universe. You see? Now, when Yahweh come down and was made manifested in the flesh, let me go back and show you how he's a vision. He is the, he's spoken of by the apostle as the only begotten son of Yahweh. You see? Now when you say that, he's the begotten son of Yahweh, it's Yahweh in a sonship degree. You follow? It is not, in other words, now let me say this. You want to find Yahweh as he is, not as you suppose him to be. You follow? So when we say that this is Yahweh in a sonship degree, we just, you follow? This is what he's called the son. You follow? As simplified by a issue in out there in the heaven. You see that now? You follow? Now, let me show you. I'm going to repeat. Because this is, this, this is the key to the whole mystery of Yahweh. Without this, you cannot unravel. You see? You don't know why the sun rises and sets. You don't know why anything is operating as it is. You, and you just go ahead on clue that it's operating that because that's the way it is. That's no answer. You saw? And some have said, well, it doesn't make any difference which way uh, we serve him. We're all going to end up there anyhow. You see? Now, that's another erroneous thought. You see? And we're not here to, to I'm repeating this, we're not here to, to uh, browbeat or to condemn. We're just simply, with all sincerity, in all humility, trying to show you what Yahweh showed us. You saw? And you cannot say that we as a school here in Pasadena set all the elements up. You see? We set up morning, noon, and night, threefold. You speak in past, present, and future days. You can't, you can't accuse us of, of the, of, you cannot accuse us of all those kind of things. You see what I mean? You see? But we're, mankind is in perfect obedience to an almighty grid. You understand? Whether he knows it or not. You see? It's like, uh, it's been said that his name is Jehovah. You see? Well, there's no J in the Hebrew language then nor now. You see? And we have all these kind of arguments. In other words, it is this thought that the time would come when the, 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 the creature would worship, uh, you understand? The man would worship the creature more than the creed. And when we quote things, you see, relative to being fact, you understand? Indisputable fact in the we quote after men. We don't quote after what God says an almighty creed. You see? We say that this philosopher said, or this philosopher said, and so it's so. You see? Well, I'm saying you don't have the divine right nor the privilege to set any opinion on Yahweh's creation. You see? And coming right back, that is the cause of his downfall. You follow? Do you understand? So I'm, my subject is, and I've uh, spilled it over another subject, that Elohim is the archetype pattern of the universe. You see? Now, by this form being called the only created son of Yahweh, remember, this is the only thing he's going to take on, so it's the only. You see, big God. Then, if that's so in heaven, then it's got to be produced on earth as Adam is the only created son. You see? You saw? In other words, all, all that happened was Moses saw this form, Yahweh Elohim, form a body, and got in it. You see? Now watch. By this form, there was an innumerable company of angels created by this form. You see? Now if that's so in heaven, then it's got to produce itself on earth. You see? So by this form, and Eve coming out from him, and the generation of man coming out from Adam, then he's, he's only created of an innumerable company of offspring, of mankind. You see, now that proves the divine authenticity that this and this is one. You see what I mean? This is the love of Yahweh. This is that principle of love that Yahweh has taken himself, you see, that was beyond comprehension, beyond you uh, uh, being able to scrutinize, you saw him, and just bring it down where you could understand. And he made the prayer, Father, make them one as you and I are one. And you and I know, we see, if we're honest and sincere, that the world does not look at 
or the, the doctrine of the Bible, or the doctrine of the kingdom, or the doctrine of anything that sell the same way all over the face of the world. We're divided once again another. The races within races are divided. You see what I mean? And I'm saying these things will prevail, you see, until we come to understand what it is in us, which is Elohim, the archetype pattern of the universe. And in that we're reconciled unto Yahweh because that's who Elohim is. Yahweh in a shape and a form. You see? Now, let me move along and show you that by that threefold pattern, you understand, Elohim being archetype. Archetype just simply means the original. See, I won't be much wrong. He's the original archetype. And we got it uh, 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 written right here. Elohim, the archetype pattern of the universe. Now, we didn't say archetype pattern of the, of the uh, earth plane. You see? Or the archetype pattern of man. You see? We said the archetype pattern of the universe. You see? And we know <coughs> that the universe encounters everything. He does this. It, you see? If, if he's the creator of heaven and earth, you see? And uh, heaven and earth is divided in him. That's the universality in which we're speaking about. You see? For example, someone would say, is there life on other planets? No. You see? We talked about these nine attributes and their function and their operation. You see? You have the uh, uh, nervous system, one. You have the endocrine system, that's two. You have the circulatory system, that's three. Right on down. And one of the systems you have in the body as relative to the nine planets in the universe, or uh, the nine the principal attributes in one environment. You understand? Then you have one system in the body that reproduces. You see? Because all the nine systems don't re reproduce life after its own kind. So then by that you know that right here on earth what's happening in heaven. You see? In other words, there are no little green Martians and things of that nature. You see? But there is life everywhere. They, you understand? Because he is the life. You see what I mean? And there's more than one Life. You see what I'm talking about? In other words, we live in these bodies, we call that life. Then we expect, if we are being children of Yahweh, to inherit eternal life. You understand? But now, what I'm trying to get to, and, and I'm trying to follow some thoughts as we go along, because I know after so many years how men think. You see? Now, because I used to think the same way, it's not a fraud. Again, I'm repeating that. We, we want you fully conscious of that. We're not thrown off on you. You see what I mean? If I was to blame or lay blame to anyone, I'd go back to Isaiah and tell him you had how the, the ministers themselves, whom Yahweh has not sent, and it was prophesied by the prophet that these false ministers have gone out. You see what I mean? And we, not knowing Yahweh and his purpose and how that thing fits together from cosmogony to eschatology is how we're deceived. And the prophet said, uh, the, the Yahweh said that um, uh, my people, you understand? Are destroyed all day long for lack of knowledge. You see? And that's what we're trying to impart to you and let you know that we speak the wisdom of Yahweh and he's in the mystery. It is not something we have come up with. You see? No more so than Moses come up with it or anybody else. You see? Now, I tried to show him this archetype pattern coming down to creation. You see? And this creation is out of order, so it's coming down to its final conclusion, and it is made manifest. You, you understand? You know what I mean? Let me explain what I'm saying. Whatever happened in heaven has to take place on earth. You saw? And so, I'm showing you that if Adam is threefold, coming from a, the threefold supernal nature of Yahweh and Jesus' form, then everything in the universe, and I've already explained to Adam, the makeup, the genes, you saw? The cell and all. It's cell, cell body, and, and nuclear, nucleus, nucleus, and cell body. It's threefold. That's the smalling block, building block of your body. You see that now? Now watch. And here I might say that some of them listening to these discourses would say, well, I don't believe in anything that's invisible. I don't believe in nothing I can't see. Next time you have a flu. Mm. You see? Next time a pain grabs you. You saw Do you believe you got a pain? You can't see it. Do you believe that you are sick? You can't see that. You know? So Yahweh is calling you to believe in things you cannot see whether you like it or don't. Because it is made him making himself known to you, his invisible presence, by his physical presence. You see what I mean? You know? Now, I'm trying to get to the thought that, that when Yahweh told this, I'm going to repeat, he's the Father, the Word, Holy Spirit, these three in one. He is the Father, the Word, Holy Spirit, these three in one. 
Tabernacle. Father, word, and voice, but these three ones. And right off to the praise men when you get to the man. Therefore, now, since Yahweh is endeavoring to prove that he is a unit, then when he tells the Lord to build me an ark, then he builds it with a lower deck, one, a, a middle deck, two, and an upper deck, three. These are three different compartments in that ark, but one ark. You follow me? Now, if he is going to come down to the ages and dispensation and prove the unity of himself made manifest in the universe, then the ark is one thing that was, he told the man to build. You understand? And it's threefold in its makeup. Why? Because he is the man, he spirit, soul, and body. And all life comes out of this man, including his wife. So then the ark being threefold, then all life has to go back in the ark. This then is, uh, is this thing, Yahweh declared the end right from the beginning. This is the beginning of this uh, post diluvian age. This is the end of it. You see that now? So all life has to go back in the ark. And if we understood, there's just so much. If we understood, Moses, I mean, Adam here is a figure of the law. And Eve is a figure of the prophet. The enemy, and he cannot destroy Adam and Eve or the original art type uh, man. You see that he created in the earth plane. You follow? If he did and created another man and another woman.